you can create a sick figure just like this, you can create a character in Blender just like this. It is dead easy. I will show you how to create a character with a skin modifier inside of Blender 3.0 and what modifiers and settings to use. Let's do some basic setup first. Have your cube selected in object mode, then go to edit mode. And we need to merge these vertices at one point. So hit M on your keyboard and then merge them at center. Then I like to work here in X-ray mode so I can really see my points. Hit 1 on your numpad keyboard so we can see these vertices. Now we are going to add some modifiers. The first one will be the mirror modifier. Don't enable clipping because this won't really work well with the skin modifier in my opinion. Then add the skin modifier. I can already see this coming alive a bit. And we're going to enable shade smoothing right here because the classic shade smoothing won't work with the skin modifier. Then this is very edgy, so let's give this a subdivision surface, so it'll be less blocky. Now, it's still a bit blocky, so let's increase this to 2, and this should work. In this order, and now you can work here. Okay, first, let's create a little root here. E to extrude, Z on the Z axis. So, we can create some little spine here. Then, EZ to create a neck. EZ to create the head and this will be a basic stick figure at first e to extrude a little bit of shoulder e for uh, the arms and then here let's create a little pelvis with e to extrude e to go down right here then number three on the side view e and then you can hit y to locate to the y axis and create a little foot right here okay then Hit this point right here, 7 on my numpad to go to top view. And let's create a little palm right here. And then EX to extrude this on the X axis. Okay, little palm. And then let's create some fingers. Let's go for four fingers. Now, this will be really messy at first, but we will fix this one up. One, two, three, four fingers and a thumb. Now, another thing you will see, you want to scale this one down. But S scaling with this modifier won't really work. So we need to scale with Control A. So Control A. And you can see this is already way better. So let's create more knuckles on the fingers. So E to extrude. And create more fingers right here. And the thumb we extrude one more time. So this is a bit more alien-like already. But with G to grab and move this around, you can fix this once. Okay, now again, this point, Control A. I can see this merging if I increase or decrease this. Control A on this one as well. Control R, double G. And you can create extra loop cuts. So with Control A, you can then really go more into thicker or smaller. Ctrl R to add an extra loop cut right here, GG to move this, for example here, Ctrl A, and you can create double G once again, and you can really create an arm like this, Ctrl A once more, okay, and this is already looking a bit better, now you can really just shape this as you want and spend more time with this, for tutorial's sake I will just leave this as this, okay, great. So let's also work on head a bit. Let's add a loop cut here in between. Ctrl R. So have these selected. Then Ctrl A. But Ctrl Shift B to bevel these into edit mode. And we can hit Y on my keyboard to do this more in the Y axis or X on the X axis. Okay. And you can with G move this around. So you get a little more of a face like this. And with the neck point here, Ctrl A, can really shape more like this. Let's maybe do it more like this. Here, Ctrl A on the Y axis, give more of a chest or less. And you can see the waist really slim, so Ctrl R, hit the loop cut right here. Double G to move this around. Ctrl A, okay, something like this. And here again, Ctrl A and then Y on the Y axis. So let's give more like this should be fine. By the way, you see here a red line going through this. So we want this mark root on this one. So the root bone will be right there. Okay, so our character is more 
or less coming alive right here. So maybe let's move this one up with G. Control A to scale the more out like this. Control A here. Control R to add the knee right there. Then Control A to scale this one as well. Same from here. Control A. Let's add a loop cut right here. Double G, move this one up. Control A. And you can also do Control A and then Y or X. I can create a little funny character just like this. Okay, let's say when you're happy, you can disable X-ray modes. Go back into object mode and look at your character from different sides. Now you have a basic character going on and you can create one as you like. Now, to add here to the modifiers, we add this from top to bottom. First of all, let's add this mirror modifier. And for the skin modifier, this is pretty neat, we can create an armature. So hit create armature. And then here, you go to object data properties, viewport display. Right now it says stick, but you can also choose octahedral and put the names of the bones in front. And right now when you select the bones, and then you go to post mode, with R, it is already weight patent for you. By the way, this is the root, so you can really change this here with R or G. You can really change the shape of your character right here. So this is basically how you can easily just make a character with a skin modifier. Especially if you want to create funny looking characters. This is a pretty neat one and it's a pretty easy rig to also enable right here. You can also go back to object mode, have your character selected and then once again apply these other modifiers. So this is basically how you do this. Oh!